there was a lot of innovation going on. It created an interest in aviation. The Piper Cherokee is one of the most important general aviation aircraft ever built. The Cherokee allowed your average pilot and businessman a way to own their own aircraft. Oh, I love the Cherokee. They were designed for the every man. It's been a workhorse of the aviation trainer fleet. And continued to bolster Mr. Piper's theory and dream that everybody should be flying an airplane, literally, an airplane in every garage. It was like a Chevrolet or, or a Ford, good, honest, basic products that people liked. It was a four-seater. The interior was designed very well. Very roomy cabin, comfortable. It was good visibility. The instrument panel was easy to read. The control inputs are slow and predictable. It was a very safe airplane. It handled rough air very well. Wonderful flight characteristics. The wide track gear made it easy to sit down in crosswinds. No fancy bells and whistles, and uh, for the average guy to fly up and down the valley here and learn how to fly, it, in my opinion, was just a nice, perfect airplane to do that. Piper had come out of World War II totally dependent on steel frame airplanes covered in fabric. The Piper Cub was a great airplane, but it was small, it was relatively slow. Piper wanted to get something more modern and compete with the Cessna 172, an all-metal airplane. They were getting a bigger share of the market than we were, and we wanted to tap into that. So the Cherokee was Bill Piper Sr.'s idea to create an all-metal airplane, larger cabin, more comfortable, faster, and better performance overall. We needed to get to a minimum number of parts. It was designed to lower the cost of manufacturing. One of the primary design targets, of course, was price. Piper was sold on the low wing design as being more desirable, more attractive than the high wing. Most of the early models of the Cherokee were all Hershey bar wings. Constant cord design from the wing tip to the root. It was a rectangular wing with square tips. A long, flat, straight, it looked like a candy bar. The Hershey bar wing um, is a very efficient design. Many of the ribs were exactly the same. That means only one drawing, only one set of tooling, very easy manufacture. It's a very efficient, heavy lifting wing, made it easier to land. Easy to do all kinds of things in training. This started the basic high wing, low wing controversy. Cessna and Piper dominate the markets. Cessna was high wing, Piper was low wing. It took some criticism from competitors, but I think that was a little more jealousy than, than uh, real hard knocks. The price was right, uh, and it came on the market and, and achieved success almost immediately. The Cherokee was affordable. In the first five years, Piper had produced and sold over 5,000 Cherokees. The entire aviation community took notice of this new product. Piper wanted more strength in the primary market to training. The goal at Piper was to teach people to fly. Marketing studies had shown that if you train the pilots, you're more likely to catch them on buying. And that's the seeds that you plant when you're trying to sell airplanes. That company that provides the best trainer can also secure more dealers. They made it affordable for colleges and universities and flight schools to offer training at a realistic cost. Anyone could walk into a Piper dealer and get an introductory flight lesson for $5. Piper's Vero Beach facility was created specifically to build the all-metal Cherokee. 
Within a few short years, Piper was employing over 1,000 employees. And at the height of the Cherokee, we were rolling 18 airplanes a day. The singer, Amel Torme, he owned and flew his own Cherokee. Entertainers, famous people were given tremendous deals to get them into the airplanes. It was kind of like a big contest. Through the 1960s, Piper's stock soared. In those days, Piper began really making a profit again. Piper became even a bigger name than it was. The design of the Cherokee has evolved over the years to make it better, bigger, faster. The airframe basic design concept was probably carried as far as any other airplane in, in history. From that basic model there were 12 various models that were built and over three dozen variations of those models. We stretched the fuselage, the interior went to six passengers. The sixth place Piper Cherokee 6. Which was great for a family. The pricing was kept within reason. The original four-place Piper Cherokee evolved into a retractable gear Piper Arrow. The Arrow was one of the best airplanes that evolved because it was fast uh, and it had retractable landing gear. When you got up in the 1970s, the semi-tapered wing was designed. They had six-cylinder uh, Piper Dakotas that were more powerful and competed with the 182. 300 horsepower singles in the Piper Saratoga, as well as the Piper Seminole and Seneca twin-engine aircraft. The Seneca, two 200 horsepower engines and crews up to 186 miles per hour. They went to a turbocharged engines and T-tails. Here they are, the 1974 Cherokees from Piper. The Cherokee was a success because they were able to build on it. The new, more efficient nose wheel steering and pilot and co-pilot tow brakes mean a shorter turn radius with less pilot effort and increased maneuverability. They improved it. The new hydraulically operated, vertically adjustable front seats add to the comfort of the pilot and front seat passenger. It was a great job of thinking ahead and planning and executing. Fresh air from the new overhead blower and vents help you arrive refreshed every time. It's an incredible accomplishment for one basic airplane. The PA-28 Cherokee is still being built in three models today, the Warrior, the Archer, and the Arrow. The latest Cherokee, with G500 avionics, air conditioning, and leather seats, is more comfortable and pleasant to fly than ever. It's still as good as it ever was. It has not been superseded by any new product line that, that just uh, totally obsoletes it. Well, Cherokee has certainly made a mark on the history of aviation. It tells me it's a pretty good airplane. It's one of the most versatile aircraft that's been built. And they've really cemented Piper's place in general aviation. I've always been proud to say that I was able to help build it. 50 years of Cherokees is a real testament to the aircraft and its durability and the, the uh, planning by Piper and their vision of the future for their airplanes. The future of the Cherokee is still being written. The Cherokee will be built for many years to come. The Piper team is now putting the same ingenuity and effort into the Piper jet development, which will create the next 50 years of Piper. <laughs>